<laughs> All right, guys. This is a video on scripting for Papyrus and Gek. I found a neat program that makes it a lot easier. I mean, it was too confusing until I had this. So let's do Papyrus. And I'm just going to do a simple one. So let's do script name. Test extends. And then you do object reference, and there's the suggestion. Very nice. Then you go to event. Event. Jeez, I cannot type. Um, on activate. Then you do the parenthesis, I need to find it because I'm doing it in the dark. Then you do object reference, AK action ref. Just like that. And then you do debug dot. message box you need to a um, whoops quotation quotation again parenthesis then do end event and what this is what this script is right here so you do your script name is anything after the script name right here let's see right there that's the part that says test that's the name of the script extends object reference so the script will be on an object on a book anything you want that's an object event and then you got on activate and then you do all that and this is my very first script I did with this program and I used the cre creation kit website and the great thing about this one is um, it has a creation kit reference get reference and Luda reference then you can go to save as and then you can save it as a PSC but I'm not going to. So this program is very useful. It's like too confusing for me and then I use this program and I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's really easy. It's easier with this program. So I'll put a link in the description to the download of this program. It comes with the installer in it, but yeah, it's it's very, very, very useful. I don't actually save the scripts though. I probably should, but um, I like do all the scripting that I want to in the into this program, and then just copy and paste it into the creation kit. Anyways. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks and bye. Link in the description to the download.